What's up friends, my name is Alex, this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I make YouTube trends bookish, I make themed book recommendations, and themed reading vlogs just like this one. This weekend, I'm going to read books with my name in the title. I just went to the library and I got a bunch of books on hold and they all have my name in the title and this is based on Books and Lala's video. I commented and I said I would love to do a trans spin on this video and she said, please please do. So I've gotten her permission to do this video. And if you haven't seen hers, it'll be linked down below. So I am a trans guy and I'm going to be talking a little bit about how I got my name throughout this video, but I will give a disclaimer. This video is strictly about my name. It is not about anything else. And I do ask that you don't ask any invasive questions in the comments. This video is only about my name, nothing else. I do not make trans related videos because of the invasive questions I used to get. So I'm just gonna leave that out there. I don't want those questions. I'll be deleting any comments that are invasive questions because I am not here to educate you. I'm not here to answer your invasive questions. That is a big reason why I don't make trans related content anymore. It was pretty hard for me to find books that I didn't already read with my name in the title. So I got a couple and I ended up getting a hockey book and I'm very excited about it. So let's just go through my TBR and then I'll get right into the video. First, I had to pick up Alex Ovechkin's book. He's an NHL player. This is a children's book. It's very short and he is an NHL player with my name. So I decided to go with this one. I also got another book that doesn't have my name in the title, but Alex Ovechkin is in here and this is just for my own personal pleasure. <laughs> And this is Hockey Legends in the Making. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm basically continuing the theme of reading hockey books. In my last video, I swapped my screen time with reading time and I read Max Domi's memoir. So if you'd like to see me read more hockey books, you can go and watch that video. It was really fun. I go to a hammock park and it was just a lot of fun. I also picked up Transmission by Alex Birdie and I'll just put the cover here because there's a glare because it's a library book but he is a trans YouTuber and he happens to have my name so I thought it would be fun to read his book. I've been wanting to but I'm really hoping that I don't have the same experience as I have lately. The last two trans memoirs that I tried to read, I DNF'd because I was triggered by them. So I'm hoping that that doesn't happen again. It doesn't mean they're bad books. I just personally got triggered by them and I'm hoping that I don't have the same experience with this book because I really want to read it. And last, I picked up the comic Alex and Ada by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughn. And I saw this back in the day in booktube, but I've never read it. It. So I have a bunch of short books and I just have a memoir so I'm excited to read these. Maybe he will actually talk about how he got his name. So besides reading, I'm also going to be talking about how I got my name. I am going to show some things with my name on them. I'm going to be doing my favorite form of photography, alphabet photography. I'll show an example of one I did eight years ago in high school and the definition is alphabet photography is the creative process of photographing everyday objects that resemble letters of the alphabet. So I'll be spelling my name with random things that I can find. So, so far I found an L when I went to the library and I saw it in the windowsill. So I tried to do that. The only thing you cannot do with alphabet photography is actually take a picture of a letter. That is definitely cheating. And so I'm not going to be doing that, but I'm excited to do it because I haven't done it in years and it's one of my favorite forms of photography. So I thought it would be fun to do it in this video. So here's my TBR. I'm going to start with the shortest books first and make my way up to reading transmission. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos like this. I talk a lot about LGBTQ plus books on this channel, so I would really appreciate if you hit subscribe. It would really help support my channel and help me make more videos like this. Let's get started. <laughs>
Hello, I have read the hockey books and my next read will be Alex and Ada, but I want to talk a little bit about these and I got a nice surprise and it was this. <laughs> it is this Chuck E. Cheese notebook. So that's fun. I love when there's always a prize inside of my library books. So I read the Alex Ovechkin book and I read Hockey Legends in the Making. So I'm mainly going to talk about the Alex Ovechkin book. This was like a brief overview of his life. I didn't know that his parents were Olympians. His mom was an Olympic basketball player and his dad was an Olympic soccer player. And I love that he named his kid after his brother who died. And he's just an overall great guy, I would say, from what I know about him. And what I know about him currently is that he is now going to make $24 million. He said that he's not going to be done until he hits Wayne Gretzky's goal. Like until he surpasses Wayne Gretzky is when he will be finished in the NH. Currently a Vetchkin Currently, Ovechkin is at 730 goals and this says that Wayne Gretzky has 802. So he's, he's pretty close. He has 72 goals to go. So we'll see what happens next season. But um, I've always just been fascinated by him. I do not like the Capitals by any means. Sorry to any Capitals fans, but I just don't. It's just not in my nature. I do not like them, but Alex Ovechkin is my only exception. I think he's an exceptional hockey player and definitely deserves everything and he's awesome. So I am glad that I was able to incorporate him into this video. And next I am going to read Alex and Ada and so I'll let you know what I think of it. I'm sitting here reading Alex and Ada and there's a scene where it's his birthday and he's 27 and I'm 27. And it's like, look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. But I just wanted to talk about that coincidence. How cool is it that there is a character with my name and he also happens to be the same age as me. Pretty cool. I know that this book was published in 2014, but it's too close to myself and it's creepy. <laughs> and he just gave a robot four cheesesteaks from Philly and if you're new to my channel I am from Philly. I'll take it as a coincidence but this is the first time I've actually had a character this similar to me and so maybe a couple years down the line I'll end up getting a robot girlfriend. Who knows? Okay, so it is the next day and last night I finished Alex and Ada and this is a five star. This was incredible. This is a sci-fi comic about a guy named Alex and he is heartbroken and going through a lot of depression because of a recent breakup which was like seven months ago and so we see some scenes of him just really not socializing. He is such an introvert and I feel that so hard. For his 27th birthday, his grandmother buys him an android because she has one and she loves it. So in this world, the androids are not human, but they replace a significant other in your life basically. And so he doesn't want this at all and he's upset, but then some things end up happening and he names her Ada. And I would continue this whole series. And that is saying a lot because I was reading this and I was like, oh, maybe I'll just not pick up the rest. But at the end, I was like, I need to have the whole series of this. So I loved this, five out of five stars. And I think this is the closest I can get to a character who is very similar to me because he gave out Philly cheesesteaks, he's my age, and we have the same name. So, pretty cool. I love this. Let me know if you've read it in the comments. I loved it. After I finished Alex and Ada, I picked up Transmission by Alex Birdie, the last book on my TBR for this video. I want this video to go up tomorrow, so I'm gonna spend the rest of the day reading this. It is super quick. I ended up reading 32 pages, and I'm excited to read the rest. It was just super quick, and honestly, he is not someone that I know too much about. I've watched a few of his videos, but 
I'm not like a religious watcher, so I'm interested to see what else I can learn from him in this video. I love that he has a table of contents because if I don't want to read something, I can just skip over it. And he talks about that in the introduction, so I can actually skip over anything that I need. And I really liked that because it's just acknowledging that some things might make you uncomfortable and you can totally skip over. And I love that. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day reading this and I will be back later. Hello, it is Monday and I am still reading Alex Birdie's book. I'm hoping to finish it today. I'm 160 pages in and it's going pretty quick. So I have a feeling I'll be able to finish it in a couple hours. But I wanted to talk about my name because I have not gotten a chance to talk about my name in this video yet. So let's get right into it. I have some keepsakes about my name. This journal is where I logged a lot of my transition before I actually came out. And we have some fun things. When I was in college, this is when I actually wrote my name for the first time. I stayed away at college and my RA did themes. And for one of the themes, he did That 70s Show and I was Kelso. So here's my name with Kelso. And then we have my journal where I actually logged a lot of things pre-transition. It was really therapeutic for me to just get all of my thoughts down. And it's nice to look back at because I have a really shit memory. So I want to check this because I know that there is a page where I talk about how I got my name. So let me look through it and then I will return. I referred to myself as Alex in the beginning of my transition. When I was questioning my gender, I was like, I like Alex. I think that's a cool name. I like it. And so here says, I started getting a feel for names. I posted a picture on Reddit asking for name suggestions and here are some I like. <laughs> And I feel like this is just a rite of passage in any trans guy's experience. So we have Cody, Cole, Alex, or Austin. And I like Alex. I just think it vibes with me. Let's have a chat and comment down below how you got your name. If you're trans or cis, whatever, I would love to hear how other people got their names because I think it's just fun to talk about. So I'm going to finish up Alex Birdie's book and I will be back later to end this video. Hello, I finished the book and I'm not going to give it a rating just because it's about his life and I don't really have a rating for it, honestly. I really enjoyed it. I would have loved to read this when I came to terms with my gender identity. It's really good at not staying too long on a topic about his life. He talks about dating, he talks about transition, and he also talks about medical transition. So I would just give a trigger warning for that. I know that can be a sensitive topic for some people, and he talks about how he got his name and basically he just says that him and his friends were talking about names and he basically had them pick. I just really appreciated everything that he talked about in this book and he acknowledges his privilege of being a white trans man who has access to really good health care. And I just would have loved to have this when I first came to terms with my gender identity. There were just so many things I resonated with and would have liked to have heard at that time. And I just thought this was great. So I would recommend it if anyone is a fan of him or just wants to read more trans nonfiction books. I loved this and it was awesome. So that's the video. I read books with my name in the title. Thank you to Kayla for the inspiration and permission to do this video. Her link will be down below if you missed her video and all of the resources I mentioned in this video will be down below. And I did end up doing alphabet photography so let's cue a montage of me putting together the final result.
that's it for me today. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. It would really help support my channel and give this video a like so more people can see it. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there for $1. I have a lot of exclusive videos and vlogs like this. I have a childhood books video where I read some of my childhood book required reads. And I also have a private Discord where we all talk and there is a game night every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And every month we do a watch party. This month we are doing a triple feature of High School Musical. So we're watching High School Musical 1, 2, and 3. The dates are August 6th, August 14th, and August 21st. So if you would like to support the channel and join in on the fun, it is only a dollar a month and the link is always down below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you on Saturday. Bye. Mm -hmm.